The Becker Friedman Institute was designed to create an intellectual destination where people from around the world, whether they are scholars, whether they are policymakers, or whether they are students, can come to Chicago and discuss the most important problems of our times within the context of this tradition and history of the University of Chicago. When you look at the last 70, 80 years, there's no place in economics that has been more created than the business, economics department, the business school, and other economists who have been associated with the University of Chicago. Debating and discussing um, ideas all the time has led to numerous innovations at, at Chicago. Chicago's had a long tradition of interactiveness, and we want to, at the same time the field advances, to really encourage cross fertilization across sub-areas, across groups of people. It's these interactions with people who don't come from your field, but nevertheless really want to understand what you do. Like, they love it. Everyone here breathes economics. We interact with each other intellectually very vigorously. A lot of people say, well, everybody in Chicago believes the same thing. No, if you go to any of our seminars, like you see, there's disagreement and fighting and so on. Pretty blunt, and sometimes it's pretty tough. But by, we're trying to explore to the essence of what's going on in a particular problem, whatever it may be. The workshop system at Chicago be, developed this culture for really serious um, discussion and criticism. This institute is named after Gary Becker and Milton Friedman, two outstanding scholars they represent not only the highest aspirations for economics, but the highest aspirations of the University of Chicago. Milton Friedman was an incredible scholar. He did a lot of very important research that, 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 that provide the backbone for some of his policy views. Belief in the analysis, empirical research to try to confirm or contradict the theory, using the analysis not only to interpret the world, but once you understand how to interpret the world, to make policy proposals, how to improve the world. Good, solid policy requires good foundational supporting research. He had a great skill of using simple analysis to discuss deep problems. He worked in a particular style, and you could see the brilliance of the work and the, um, the parts of it that rang true, the parts of it that were puzzling, kind of the scientific honesty of it. You know, the, the scientific in the sense of there's some data out there and you're building a model to confront it. There's what's called the permanent income model of consumption. This is where he built on micro evidence about decisions about consumption and savings. His ideas have just persisted for decades now and they continue to have a very important impact. I think my ideas stuck up very well. I feel very good about them. The uh, concept of a natural rate of unemployment is now conventional wisdom. The theory of the consumption function, permanent income, technical terms like that have become common language, they've become part of the vocabulary. I want this institute to be kind of the preeminent place for top scholars to want to come and share their latest and best work. The ultimate goal of the institute is to produce an important idea every few years. If we can have an important idea that will help change the way the world thinks about a particular problem, we will be enormously successful. Investing in the future is critical to all this, and we want to provide the intellectual support for young scholars to be able to work on, on the most important problems of the day. Being at Chicago has been life-changing. I mean, it evolved my research style. The papers I write now feel to me much more complete than the papers I was writing before. It's pushed me to sort of think harder and more deeply, and this is never going to go away. If you can uh, instill in young people the aspects, at least, of the Chicago approach, taking economics seriously, trying to understand the world, open intellectual discussion, you have a chance of raising the likelihood that the Institute will help contribute to the production of very important ideas.